The first 100 years of athletics at Chapman University began humbly enough with a pickup volleyball game on the small Los Angeles-based California Christian College campus in 1921. Males and females from amongst the student body, which boasted a total of 72 enrollees, would stop and play while passing in between classes. As small as it seems, that regular volleyball exhibition was just the start of something lasting and became what we now know as Chapman University Athletics. 23 varsity programs, over 600 student athletes each year, representing an institution of national acclaim plus thousands of alumni who bled and perspired, competed and learned, all with great Panther pride. Those first student athletes in 1921 were early demonstrators of what would become one of Chapman's four pillars of a holistic education, the physical pillar. And today's Panthers continue to embody that spirit. In 1922, Cal Christian College formed its first men's basketball team, coached by a student, Harold Tiny Piper, and played in the newly constructed gymnasium affectionately known as the box. The Cardinal and Gray faced its first intercollegiate competition against some familiar names, Pomona College, Whittier College, Laverne, and Caltech, members of the Southern California Conference that later became the Skyac. At that time, CCC did not have a mascot, so sports writers, assuming many of the students were studying to be clergy, referred to the players as parsons or preachers. It wasn't until 1925 that the student body put it to a vote and settled on the ferocious Panther. At this same time, the athletics program grew to offer a multitude of sports, football, tennis, baseball, handball, and wrestling, as well as the first physical education opportunities provided especially for women. Around 1930, the first Women's Athletic Association was formed and included the first intercollege volleyball match between sophomore and upper-class women. The era was defined by the leadership of Ralph Welch, hired as the school's first professional coach in 1926. Welch led the Panther football, basketball, and baseball programs through historic firsts up until 1941, when two campus relocations in World War II forced the shutdown of campus sports programs for four years. When sports returned, the now Chapman College athletics program began to come of age. It joined the Skyac briefly, and in 1954, the institution found its forever home 34 miles southeast in Orange, California. New athletics director and head coach Don Perkins was instrumental in leading the men's basketball team into national prominence, earning six NCAA regional berths and two regional titles within an eight-year span. In 1960, the team dubbed Two Trees and Three Squirrels placed second in the nation, losing to hometown Evansville, Indiana in the title game. Round ball star Bob Hamblin became the Panthers' first ever All-American. The 1960s brought new levels of success on the diamond as the Horse Hiders, led by coach Paul Deese, qualified for seven baseball regional playoffs and won Chapman's first ever NCAA College Division National Championship in 1968. The success paved the way for a number of Panthers who went on to play in the major leagues, including National League Cy Young winner Randy Jones, World Series champion Tim Flannery, and the founder of MLB's reviving baseball in inner cities, John Young. Speaking of big league alumni, it was around this time that Emmett Ashford broke a different type of color barrier by becoming the first African-American umpire in the major leagues. The dawn of the Title IX era spawned immediate growth for women's athletics at Chapman, led by Penny Brush and thanks to key support from alumnus Jack Duddy. Intercollegiate varsity softball, volleyball, soccer, and tennis became women's sports fixtures, highlighted by second and third place finishes at the AIAW Softball World Series in 1980 and 81. Along with regional championships from volleyball and basketball in the early 80s, these women's programs did more than play, they flourished. Softballers Luis Figowitz and Kathy Copeland became Chapman's first female All-Americans. The NCAA College Division evolved into Division II, and Chapman competed at the CCAA Conference against Cal State Northridge, UC Riverside, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, to name a few. In 1978, the Hutton Sports Center was erected in the Hardly Orange campus, and in the mid-80s, men's tennis coach Mike Edlis built a hardcourt dynasty, winning three national championships. But 1994 was a watershed year for Panther Athletics. On the heels of Chapman changing its name from college to university, and under the leadership duo of President James Doty and Athletics Director David Curry, the Panthers made the move to Division III and grew the program from nine varsity sports and 150 student-athletes to 
to 16 teams and over 400 student athletes. This included the addition of several more women's teams and the triumphant return of varsity football. Still, the only four-year college football program in Orange County after last competing in 1932. In a nod to the university's history, it was fitting that Ernie Chapman, a member of that last gridiron team and the grandson of the college's founder Charles C. Chapman, was on hand for the coin toss when the pigskin returned in 1994. Chapman found immediate success in Division III, winning its first women's national championship in softball in 1995 sparking a run of success that included four more top three finishes in the next nine years. Baseball returned to national prominence with Division III titles in 2003 and 2019, and a remarkable run of 10 World Series appearances in 15 seasons. A game changer for Chapman in this new era was the 2008 construction of the extraordinary Anderson Athletics Complex, followed by the Anderson Tennis Center in 2017, which showcased the Panthers' modern-day field, aquatics, and tennis teams. Since then, Chapman has rejoined the Skyac and won conference championships and qualified for NCAA playoffs in 12 different sports within the past 10 years. Throughout the decades, Chapman Athletics has always provided the foundation of our Panther pride, fulfilling the school's mission as the physical pillar with dedication and perseverance. Most importantly, Chapman student athletes, coaches, and administrators continue to demonstrate excellence in competition and in the classroom, just as they did 100 years ago. and as they will for the next 100 years.